growing up, I feel like things with my parents and me were always good, but that wasn't the case with my siblings. I have two half-sisters, Emily and Ashley, from my mom's previous marriage. And even though they were my stepsisters, they were really jealous of me because their dad was not in their life, and mine was. And they held that against me, and they treated me like I was the outcast. Our mom was a pharmacy technician, and she had to work a lot, so she really wasn't home a lot. But my dad only worked until like five or six at night, so he'd be here with me at night. And we'd hang out together, and I think that's where the resentment started with my sisters. Emily and Ashley was mean to Megan because she had a different father than them, and they didn't want Megan to be in the picture. They didn't like that. Things just got worse between me and my sisters as I got older, and I just focused on spending time with my dad and being with him. He was my safe place, and I was happy when we were spending time together. And most of the time, he kept getting me whatever I wanted to eat. Pizza, chips, soda, fast food, especially since my dad didn't cook. My high school experience was awful because I got made fun of every day for my weight. And I hated school. I never wanted to go because of that. It was like there was nowhere safe I could go anymore, except to food. And when I was 17, it got to be where I couldn't take it. So I just wanted to leave to be with my dad after that. And I asked him if I could come live with him, and he said I could. So I moved out of my mom's house and into his. I was not speaking to my mom at that time. And so I was very thankful to be back with my dad. But you know, being back with him, there were no restrictions on my eating. So by the time I got out of high school over the next year, I was close to 600 pounds. My plan after that was to get a job to try and get a place of my own. But that was hard for me to do at that weight because I couldn't stand. So all I've been able to do are sit down jobs where I don't have to stand or be active. And that's made it hard to make much of a living to where I could get out on my own. So I kept living with my dad. Dating at my size is very, very hard because a lot of guys don't like the look of a bigger girl. But I met someone online who I started to see, but who wasn't the best influence on me. He started becoming mentally abusive, and I kept spiraling out of control with my life. Not just with my eating, but I started to party some too, and fell in with a bad crowd where I was drinking and doing other things. So I was getting to a really bad place and I just kept going on that road and eventually I realized I had to stop. And I called my mom and asked her if I could move back with her and she said I could. I was 20 then and my sisters had moved out of her house. So our relationship got a little better after that. Moving in with my mom again did help me to start to get my life back on track in a lot of ways, but not with my eating because that's never changed to the point now where I'm 24 and I'm probably over 600 pounds. And over the last four years, I've just had one medical issue after the other. Megan is 24 and she's on like nine medications a day. She started out with high blood pressure and then from there she was hospitalized three years ago for blood clots, 50 to 75 blood clots that went through her heart to her lungs. That could have been the end, you know? But after the blood clots, she did not stop eating the wrong things. So I'm just afraid one of these days that I may go in there and she won't be there. I know my health is really bad now because the more I move, my breathing gets worse and worse. I don't have a life because how my weight has kept me from it. Since I was young, I've always wanted to be a pediatric nurse. But honestly, if I went to nursing school and I got an RN degree, I wouldn't be able to stand on my feet for 12 hours. So my weight is keeping me from that. And it's keeping me from meeting someone and having a family. My doctors always told me I can't conceive because of my weight. 
and now my weight is keeping me from seeing my dad because a couple years ago he got sick and he had to go into a rehab center but it's 30 to 45 minutes away so it's too much for me because the car right there my feet fall asleep while driving and it just is a struggle with me getting in and out of the car a lot because it wears me out really easily and when I eat I feel a sense of love and a sense of fullness and accomplishment and because of that I feel that food is like my closest best friend it always takes care of me no matter how bad my life is it's everything to me are you finished honey yes yeah. You wanna go with me to the store? Yeah, I'll go with you. On days when I feel up to it, I go to the grocery store with my mom. And it's really the only thing I ever go out for anymore. And it's like Christmas day for me. Being around all that food and all those options. And the only way I'm even able to handle it is that I use the motorized carts that they have. Without those, there'd be no way I'd be able to go with my mom. It's hard to describe the joy and excitement I feel every time I go into the grocery store. When we go grocery shopping, Megan will get upset with me when I tell her she shouldn't eat the sweets. You know, I'm trying to get her healthier snacks, like chips but Megan eats quite a bit of sweets. Sometimes it makes me sad because she needs to eat the healthier food, but Megan does have a sweet tooth. Have a good you too. Once I feel like I have enough to at least last me for a little bit, the next thing is, is I just have to push myself a little longer to get home because I know what's coming and I'm gonna be able to eat something that lets me escape my life again. When it comes to eating, I can forget about my past and all the things that have hurt me and things other people have done to me that have led me here that I wish I could change, but I can't. So I have to find a way to change really soon because I feel like if I let things get any worse, then I won't be here any longer.